All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Exercise Science Occupational Therapy student panel. What? Huh? You're serious. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been uh, handed a, uh, a notice that says that the Exercise Science Occupational Therapy panel has been canceled for today. So I apologize for everybody taking the time to get on here, but I'm afraid it's been canceled. Um, but um, the notice also says that there are a number of special guests on the call today. So can the special guests please reveal themselves? All right, well, looking around the screen, um, I see, you know, a few people that I recognize, but uh, what? What was, oh, it's for her? So it's not, oh, I, I get, I got my, I think I got my days mixed up or something. So the reason that we're here evidently is to say a hearty congratulations to one Kara Rich on getting into the occupational therapy program at Wash U. So everybody can unmute themselves and give her a nice big round of applause. Yeah. Woohoo! Yay! 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 So so Kara, Kara, I may I may or may not have uh, stretched the truth. Uh, a hair about this <laughs> occupational therapy uh, student panel thing, um, but uh, we all wanted to get together and uh, and say, say congratulations to you. And the way I'd like to do this, folks, is if everybody can keep themselves on mute for the time being, if you have anything that you have pre-prepared or anything that you want to shoot off the cuff at Kara, you can certainly do so, but but the way I'd like to do it is if you know how to put your hand up on Zoom, please do so. Or you can just raise your hand physically and I will call on you. And I, with the, the screens being pretty small, I may have a difficult time recognizing everybody. So I'm just going to call you by your screen name, which may in fact be different because we were trying to pull the wool over Kara's eyes. And she's probably reading a few of those right now thinking what in God's name is going on here. So, all right, uh, is, is there anybody that wants to uh, kick it off? Anybody that wants to say uh, anything? All right, AJM, I see your hand is up, AJM. And if you could- I'm Kara's if, uncle. If, if you could introduce yourself, thank you very much. Kara's uncle, Harold Grasham, <laughs> Harold Michael Grasham. She got her smarts from my side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think she'd be accepted if people, she lets people cut her hair like when she was eight years old <laughs> in my basement, four years old. But anyways, congratulations, Kara. I'm very proud of you and good luck in the future. And I'm Aunt Jill and I'm, um, I'm a speech therapist. So, She's a smart. Speech therapist, so you know, I'm, I'm so excited that Kara's going into, Kara, that you're going into a, a copathetic field with, with mine, because um, I'm so am proud of, proud of the um, intelligent, grounded young woman you've become, and wish you all the best at Washington University. That's such a neat place. So, congratulations. There you go. We're done. All righty. Thank you Go guys so much. Do I have any other hands up out there? Christy McLemore. Hi, um, I'm Christy McLemore and I was uh, Kara's biology teacher three times in high school. Um, so you and, I, and you and I have to talk because we both have had Kara in class. We could probably tell some war stories. Go, go on. Probably so. Um, probably the many faces of Kara. Oh yeah. Very expressive face always. <laughs> 
<laughs> you never have to guess what Kara's thinking because she's going to let everybody know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been impressed with you since I met you when you were, I guess, 14 when you started yeah. high school. And um, you keep impressing me. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. All right. Any, anybody else in our uh, uh, Karen Parmalee? Yes, I'm her great aunt and her great uncle. We're wishing her congratulations and all the best. And we're so proud of her. Thank you so much. Love you, babe. I love you. All right, Kaylee, Jay. Hi. <laughs> um, so congratulations, Kara. You deserve Thank it. Thank you. For anybody who doesn't know, Kara's the gave me my tour at SIU, so she's the reason I'm at the school. She's the reason I did exercise science and the reason I did Strong Survivors and the reason I did Sluky Ambassadors. So I copied my whole personality off of her. <laughs> I would not have gotten through most of the classes without you have taking them first and helping me out. <laughs> You deserve it more than like anybody. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Okay, Kaylee, just so you know, I have a list of things I'm going to give you of things that Kara did that you shouldn't do. All right. So <laughs> okay. Let's, okay I, I just want to make sure. No. All right. Anybody else? All right. Temp. The temp. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I almost blew it because I had my picture up and my <laughs> husband was texting me and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot to take my picture down. So thank you all for being here today. This was a little bit coordinated to try to get some of her, her high school teachers on here. So thank you, Christy, for being here. And I, don't, I can't see everybody, but I appreciate you taking time from, from folks from her past. Um, this has been an interest, and I'm going to cry. So I don't want to cry. I'm just really proud of you, babe. Um, it hasn't always been easy. And we were kind of at some hurdles early on, but I'm so glad that SIU was your home and it's gonna be your um, someplace that you and your dad will share, but you've got so much to look forward to. So just really proud. Thanks, mom. Stop it, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, any other hands going up here? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, ET, phone home. See, I figured it would work both ways. Um, so my name is Emily Tabeek. I was Kara's admissions counselor coming into SIU. So I've known her since she was 17. I was lucky enough to be her advisor for Saluki Ambassadors. And now I'm lucky enough to call her a friend in real life as we are both young adults just trying to figure it out. Um, I told Kara this because I wrote one of her letters of recommendation for um, grad school, but I just remember the passion she had in high school, and I'm just so excited. It's very rare as adults that our passion doesn't change, and yours hasn't, and that's so exciting. That's so exciting. I'm so proud of you. I'm Thank so you. excited. All right, any other hands in the air? All right, Mr. iPad with uh, the cute little uh, little friend there. So we'll, we'll see if we can keep uh, Prince quiet. If I mention her name, he starts to bark. So um, <laughs> just just a quick story on, on the front end of things. Um, when we dropped Kara off, uh, well, didn't just drop her off, but move in day. As that day went on, <clears throat> Uh, it was pretty clear by her body language that um, as the day went, the body language was was a lot worse, and and you could tell that she didn't want to be there. Uh, we got her moved in, and um, we'll forever remember uh, Sherry and I uh, leaving her room at the end of the day, very emotional, um, and as we're walking onto the truck, uh, Sherry's like, what do we do? And I, I can't exactly repeat what I said in a mixed group here, but <laughs> I said, we need to get the flip out of Carbondale as soon as possible. And so we, we left her behind. So uh, what, what turned out uh, on day one to be a bit of a uh, kind of a rocky start, uh, some, some perseverance. And as Sherry alluded to, 
um, some difficult times and, and mom and dad kind of stick into their guns because it's pretty clear in the end, Kara, that your parents uh, really do know what's best for you. So um, had it not been for uh, us sticking to our guns, uh, you wouldn't be here today with uh, Dr. Anton and, and uh, a host of uh, guests uh, acknowledging the, the, the great work that you did. But um, it's been amazing watching you grow um, and can't wait to see uh, the next chapter. Thanks, Dad. Oh, back to back to mom. Oh, gosh. I know. Well, this isn't for Kara, actually. This is for you, Dr. Anton. Um, when my daughters have struggled in school, and anybody who's working college or high school, or any, any educator for that matter, um, I've always been like, you need to find your people. There's pe there are people there that, that will nudge you and mentor you and hold you accountable, and will see things in you that you don't see in yourself. I had those people that helped me get through school. I try to be that for my students, and I want to thank those of you at SIU and in high school who were those people for Kara because what you do is immeasurable. So thank you for your work. It, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, you, are, uh, you are very welcome. It was, a, it was a pleasure to have her as a student. And uh, Dr. Partridge is also on the, uh, on the call here. She and I are married, both work in the same uh, department and she played an invaluable role because she explained to Kara everything that I was saying, everything that I was doing, or would try to explain it as best as best she could. So um, without Dr. Partridge around, Kara would have been very, very confused and probably would have quit. Not true. I, I don't think that Kara is easily confused. So I think <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> but now, now I'm going to have to deal with Dr. Anton, you know, getting a swelled head. So, you know, there's to say um, congratulations from, uh, from Dr. Anton about uh, your good news. I, I was not surprised one bit. Um, you know, you were part of a really special class for me that, you know, you guys were already like a really, really just good group and you were, you know, right, right at the top of, of that group. So. Um, I know that you're going to, you know, do great, and uh, we're excited to have you as an alum of our department um, and represent all of the wonderful things that, that um, you are out there in the world. Um, we're glad to just be associated with it. And I'm actually going to have to hop off because the storms, our dogs are not sitting um, sweetly on anybody's lap. <laughs> One of them is a little freaked out, so I'm going to hop off, but um, Thank you so you much. Know, just wanted to say congrats and, and good luck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Anybody else? If not, I have a, a little recording that I'd like to play for, uh, for everybody. And if you're thinking of maybe saying something, you can, you can chime in after the recording if that works for, wor works for everybody. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop my video here and I'm gonna share my screen. And this is a compilation of videos that I was sent by various folks who were unable to make it onto the Zoom call today, but wanted to, uh, wanted to share their uh, uh, congratulations with Kara. So if you give me a second here, I'll get this thing theoretically pulled up. And it starts with uh, Dr. Julianne Wallace, who is the, uh, as, it, as it states, is the exercise science uh, uh, is an exercise science professor as well as the program director for the School of Human Sciences and she and I may have put together a little something for you so er everybody enjoy you may have to adjust your volume a bit on your end. Oh, uh, hey, Julianne, how's it going? Hi, Phil. I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, hey, I meant to ask you, are you going to talk about the commencement ceremony during our meeting today? Yeah, I was going to go over the latest information I received uh, first thing. 
All right, cool. That's awesome. I'll let you go first with that, and then we can do do the other stuff after that. Hey, uh, speaking of graduation related accomplishments, did you see that Kara Rich had gotten into Wash U's occupational therapy program? Yeah, that's amazing. Good for her. Um, you know, <laughs> I got to say, I was a little bit surprised because, I mean, she's <laughs> by far one of the worst students that's ever darkened the doors of Davies Hall. And I mean, she's basically just squeaking by to graduate. And I heard a rumor out of the chancellor's office that they were actually just letting her graduate uh, just to get her out of Carbondale. <laughs> uh, Bill, I don't think I've had Kara in class, but I've heard some pretty tremendous things about her. Are you sure you're talking about Kara Rich? She deserves all of our congratulations as far as I'm concerned. I've heard she's always involved in class discussions, get, gets great grades on everything, is a real leader. I don't think we're talking about the same person. All right. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, I got a, little, uh, a little confused there. I was actually thinking of Cryer Richie Rich, <laughs> in which, I mean, Cryer Richie Rich, she is, she is god awful. But, uh, but uh, Kira Rich, yeah, that's, uh, that's a totally different thing. That's my, that's my bad. No, we definitely need to celebrate Kara. Oh, whoa. Uh, Partridge is logging on. I, I got to avoid her for a while, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you uh, later, okay? Okay. Hi, Kara. I wish you the best in your future as an OT. Study hard and be your best. Hey, Kara, I just wanted to say congratulations getting into Wash U. That's amazing. Best of luck. Hi, Kara. Congratulations on getting into Wash U for the occupational therapy program. Big things coming your way. Hey Kara, it's Michaela here. I just want to say congrats on getting into WashU's occupational therapy program. That's so awesome and I know you're going to crush it there. Good luck and congratulations. Hey Kara, congratulations. I'm so excited for you and I can't wait to see you around campus. So Kara, as a Strong Survivor staff member, what is the primary thing that you, uh, that you do? As trainers, we use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and their caregivers uh, get through their treatment and recovery period. So Kara, as a Strong Survivor staff member, what is the primary thing that you, uh, that you do? As trainers, we use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and their caregivers uh, get through their treatment and recovery period. <laughs> Survivor students, staff members use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and their caregivers get through the treatment and recovery process. All right, so just a, a few extra uh, greetings from folks, like I said, who couldn't uh, couldn't be on uh, uh, today, but wanted to wanted to wish you wish you congrats. Um, is there anybody else that uh, would like to say anything uh, that thought of anything during the uh, during the video, anything like that? Ah, person. 
Um, yeah, Kara, I just wanted to just say congrats. I'm Judith. I'm the pastor at Kara's home church in Mackinac. Um, and you've always been at college when I've been a pastor here, but I've gotten to see you for Christmas and summer times. And um, we got to go to General Assembly together. And I just wanted to say that um, blessings as you go forward in grad school and huge congratulations and know that God will be with you as you continue to learn and continue to serve others. So just wanted to say congrats. So do they, do they identif identify you as pastor person? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, anyone else? All right, Kara. Do you have anything that you would like to sh share with the group? Going to put you on the spot here, and you've just been criticized for speaking rapidly. So, you know, you're on mute. You're going to have to figure that out before you go to occupational therapy school. I know, I know. Stay off mute. Yeah. I will do my best to be audible for everybody. Um, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for being here and to celebrate this with me. And each of you have had a piece in, you know, motivating me to go to occupational therapy school and to, you know, continue to serve others and for um, encouraging me as I complained about school or the GRE or applications or waiting. Um, I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. And yeah, I don't want to cry, so I'm going to stop talking. So. <laughs> All right, um, uh, Emily Townley has her her, uh, her hand up. I didn't see it, sorry. Hi, sorry. Um, I'm sorry I'm late to the party saying this, but uh, congratulations. Uh, my name's Emily, the stranger here on this call. Um, I graduated from Wash U OT's program in 2018. Um, so Dr. Anton can give you my phone number and I'm happy to talk to you about anything, so. That would be awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, anybody else? All right, so what I'd like to do to end, end these calls is to give our honoree a, another big uh, a round of applause and a woo-hoo-hoo, and then I will end the call. But before, before that happens though, just uh, speaking on behalf of the exercise science faculty here at, uh, at SIU, it was an absolute privilege to have Kara Rich as a student here. There are students that come along periodically that, uh, you know, you, you have plenty of them that, uh, you know, sit in your class. And um, if Dr. Partridge uh, 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 was on here, I'd have her define this term for you but it's one of her favorite terms to describe a student. And that term is lump, lump, because all they do, and if I can just demonstrate here, is they sit in their chair like this and they look about as involved as a lump of something. And for all of those students that you look at them and they drain your energy from you, you get students like Kara Rich who come to class and they're ready to rock and roll. They want to learn. They have never said the phrase, hey, will this be on the exam? Because they want to learn absolutely everything that they can because they know that if they learn more, they're gonna be a better professional and they're gonna do a better job of changing lives once they graduate. So Kara, it has been, like I said, an absolute, uh, absolute pleasure. And uh, we really uh, uh, have enjoyed having you here and because you have been here, you've made us look better. So we're going to continue to ride the coattails of your success all the way into the foreseeable future. So get get ready for that, and uh, <laughs> you're going to have to have to pull pull us along on your uh, on, on 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 your coattails. But in all seriousness, if there's anything that you uh, you need from uh, from us. Obviously, we're uh, we're always here here for uh, you because you were always there for us, standing up uh, for us as a, a a representative of what a real Saluki student should be. And from a personal standpoint, you being on the Strong Survivor staff, that was something that as soon as I had you in class, I was like, I got to get Kara Rich on the Strong Survivor staff at some point because she's she's going to be excellent at it. So, all right, anything else from anybody before we do our final woohoo? Everybody ready? All right, on the count of three. One, two, 
three. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Anton.